I don't think I will forget this week because it's been such an impactful week. It's actually made a mark in my career, especially with regards to surgical training. And I would wish and pray that other residents also get this opportunity to be able to hone and sharpen their skills. This has definitely been one to remember as far as my career is concerned. We really believe that training is the foundation of sustainability. If you want to build something that's going to last for a long time, if you want to make a long-term impact, we really believe that that begins with training um, those who will be the providers, those who will be the surgeons for the upcoming generation. And so one of the things that's really important to us at Daybreak is to involve the residents as much as possible from the local teaching hospitals. And so this week we had three uh, senior residents from Comfo Noche Teaching Hospital here with us, learning in an intensive, hands-on environment with you know, mentorship from senior surgeons, um, how to do small incision cataract surgery, how to examine those patients, how to um, optimize their outcomes. And it's been, it's been a fantastic um, training uh, environment for them. So, you know, our vision for Daybreak is helping to create a world where site restoring cataract surgery is available to people who, uh, to those who need it most. And creating opportunities for trainees to get world-class training to become the very best that they can be, providing site restoring cataract surgery to those that they serve. And to do all of this in a sustainable way, which can be carried forward for generations and make a lasting impact not just for the patients who receive site, but for their family members and for their communities, um, because we really believe that that's a ripple effect that changes um, many, many lives just based off of one site restoring surgery. Um, things that Daybreak wants to do is residency training. Personally, throughout my residency training and after I finished my residency and all that, I found out that attending these camps you know, gets you to experience a lot of cases at the time, manage complications. So by attending one or two or three of these, you find out that you, you feel a bit more confident and competent as a resident to be able to go back to your facility and institution to be able to deliver good care. In Konfuanochi, I'm the assistant residency coordinator. Konfuanochi is the hospital where I work, the teaching hospital where I work. And I'm involved with residency training with surgeries and giving lectures and helping them throughout the training. And I see this as an extension, you know, of what I do there, you know, through Daybreak. Apart from impacting people and impacting lives, individuals and families and communities and populations, okay. Also empowering the young residents to also get enough skill, to be able to, you know, transfer knowledge and transfer skill. Okay, so that you have a ripple effect. So I think Daybreak in Ghana is doing really well and um, we're looking forward to doing so much more in the years coming. And I'm hoping that um, we get the support, we get all the support that we, we need to be able to continue you know, the good work we're doing. But the cataract blindness in Ghana is huge. There's a huge backlog you know, the cataract surgical rate, which is the number of cataract surgeries that should be done every year per median population should be about 2,000. And currently we are doing less than 1,000. Okay, it's recently increased a bit. So there's still so much to be done. And the thing about cataract is, as you're doing cataract surgeries, new people are still developing cataracts. Okay, so now what we are doing is, we are going into the backlog of people that have cataracts and trying to cure those cataracts or trying to treat those cataracts through surgery. And we haven't even started scratching the tip of the iceberg. There are people sitting at home that can't do anything because their cataracts are so dense. As residents, we are in in the OR with the surgeons from the very first case to the very last case. And then each resident has a trainer dedicated to her when it's time to operate. So unlike the other outreaches where we do everything else, biometry, screening, blocks, and then at the end of the day, we come in to come and have hands-on on a case or two. Over here, we are just meant to understudy our trainers and then have hands-on practice. And your trainer is dedicated to you. Your trainer is doing nothing but just being behind you, taking you through the steps, each case by case. It's really been great. I had the opportunity to do 14 cases 
in the first three days. I that's been my highest ever. I don't think I've done more than two or three cases a day. So good practice makes perfect. So when you have a case and then followed by another case and then followed by another case, you actually get to build on, you get more confidence, you actually get to correct your mistakes from your previous surgery. I suppose you do a case or two and then you don't get to operate until a week's time. When you start, it's like you're starting all over again. But then when you have the cases, repetition, it's such a great experience and it builds your skill. So I had this lady, you could see in one eye, but was peeled in the other eye. She couldn't see anything, but she could perceive light. She had a very dense cataract. And the next morning during post-op review, once we took off the pad, she exclaimed she could see, she was super excited, and she actually said she was blessing me with a good husband. I don't think I will forget this week because it's been such an impactful week. It's actually made a mark in my career, especially with regards to surgical training. And I would wish and pray that other residents also get this opportunity to be able to hone and sharpen their skills. This has definitely been one to remember as far as my career is concerned.